In this video, I'm going to show you a very useful decorator in Python. It's particularly useful when you're doing things uh, recursively. So for example, we have this function and we want to generate the Fibonacci sequence. If we run this, we're going to generate the first 100 numbers uh, in the Fibonacci sequence. And you can see that as we get to the, around the 30 th 33rd number uh, and, so, and so on, it gets rather slow. And the reason for this is because every time that we want to uh, let's pause it here. So if we, every time that we want to generate the uh, 36th one, for example, we're going to need to generate the 35th uh, and the 34th and add those together. But in order to generate the 35th, we need to get the 34th and the 33rd and so on and so forth. So you can see why this would get slower and slower uh, as we get along. So a way that we could speed this up is if we had the 36th here, We've already generated these two already. So if we could save these uh, in a list, for example, then generating the 36th should be pretty straightforward. Uh, and we can do this in Python. There's a built-in uh, library for this. So we can import from func tools, import cache. Uh, and then we can add the decorator uh, like so. And now this time you'll see that if we run it, it generates it almost instantly. Uh, and you can see like if we if we increase this to a thousand, then it's uh, pretty quick at generating uh, all of these. So that's um, using the cache uh, decorator. Now, what's happening is that we're saving every single one. So let's say that we don't wanna save every single one. Instead, we can use LRU cache and we can specify here uh, instead, how many do we want to save? So let's just say um, max size equals three, for example. Uh, and this time, if we run it, it will do the same thing again, except it's not gonna save all a thousand of them. It's only gonna save uh, the last three. Ah, there's no underscore, that's why. So if we run that again, you'll see uh, it, it works the same, except this time, we're not going to use as much memory because we've specified we only want to save the last three values. So that's how you can use cache and LRU cache. I have a second example for you now. Um, and in this case, uh, we're going to generate some number factorial. Uh, and we're going to do this recursively. So for example, we might want to, uh, so in this for loop, we're going to generate uh, numbers from one to a hundred. Uh, and so it'd be one factorial, two factorial, three factorial, uh, so on and so forth until 100 factorial. Um, and you'll see actually in this case, it's actually pretty quick without using the cache. So it generates them pretty quickly. So maybe you might be thinking, well, I don't really need to use the cache here. However, the issue is that if we change this to a thousand and we run it again, so let's just clear that. Uh, if we run it one more time, ah, you see that we get this error, we get a recursion error. And it says that the maximum recursion depth has been exceeded. Now, I believe that you can uh, increase this uh, maximum recursion depth if you wanted to, but a better way to uh, overcome this is to do what we did before uh, and import uh, the, the cache uh, decorator that's already been built for you. Uh, oops, oh, sorry, import cache. Uh, and we can do the same thing as last time and we can save that. Uh, and run that again. And this time we don't get that error because instead of it constantly uh, doing the recursion here, it will see, oh, actually I've already, I've already done uh, the, I already know what the value is before that for the 999th uh, uh, factorial here. And so then it just figures out that it just needs to uh, look that up uh, in, in memory uh, and it will calculate the value. Uh, so instead it will multiply a thousand by the value of factorial uh, 999, 999 um, and then return that instead of recalculating the entire thing all over again. So I hope that's useful. Uh, if you're struggling to uh, get this working, then feel free to leave a question uh, or, or message me. Uh, one thing to note is that you do need to be on Python version 3.9.2 for uh, using this one, for using cache. Uh, I believe I, I was having troubles running it in some earlier versions because I don't think it existed then, but I think LRU cache uh, was available in 3.8. So there's just something to bear in mind. But otherwise, uh, thanks for watching.